Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.8 from Sadiku and the question is for the circuit in figure 7.88 if V is equal to 10 multiplied by E to the minus 4 T volt and then I is equal to 0.2 E to the minus 4 T ampere for T greater than 0 a. Find R and C. B. Determine the time constant. C. Calculate the initial energy in the capacitor. And D. Obtain the time it takes to dissipate 50% of the initial energy. Okay, let's write from A to D from this problem. Okay, let's start. Let's start at problem A. Okay, first we need to find out R. Okay, R can be easily solved actually by using Ohm's law, right? So, remember that R is equal to V over I. But then because this is changed over time, we will have Vt divided by It. Okay, we can just plug in the value here. What is Vt? Vt is 10 to the 10 multiplied by by e to the minus 40 and then divided by i i is 0 0.2 and then e to the minus 40 okay e to the minus 40 nicely cancel each other and so we are left with 10 divided by 0 0.2 and that should be that equal to 100 divided by 2, right? If we multiply the numerator and denominator by 10. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. And the unit here will be ohm. And this is the first answer of the question for this one. Okay. And now let's find out C here. Okay, we are given the voltage is like this. If we have our i is coming here we will have c dv dt right so i will have c dv t over dt is equal to the green part of this but i is flowing to the opposite direction so i will have minus sign here so i will have i t here is equal to minus c dv t over dt Okay, let's erase the green part because we don't need it anymore. And IT is 0 0.2 e to the minus 4. Okay, 0 0.2 e to the minus 40. And then we are looking for the C here. So I will have minus C here. And then D over DT of VT. What is VT? 10 e to the minus 40. Okay, that's good. Okay, now on the left hand side, we still have 0 0.2 e to the minus 40. And then on the right hand side, I think we can differentiate this. Okay, so we'll have minus C. I will have minus 40 e to the minus 40. This. Okay, and minus and minus will become positive. So I will have 0. 0.2 e to the minus 40 that will be c multiplied by 40 e to the minus 40 okay that's good so i will have c let's isolate c so i will have for i mean 0 0.2 not, not 40 so i'll have 0 0.2 e to the minus 40 and then divided by 40 e to the minus 40. Okay, we can cancel out e to the minus 40. Where is my cursor? Yeah, this one and this one. And so we will have this should be equals to what is it? Let's use calculator. Okay, oh yeah, that is. 5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. Okay. 5 multiplied to the 10 to the minus 3. And the unit here is farad. Therefore, our capacitor is 5 millifarad. Okay. 
that is the second value that asked by the question. Okay, now let's move on to the point B and so on. Okay, now let's clean up the board. Okay, so far we got R and C. And now let's start with the question B. Determine the time constant. We have tau here, so I will have RC. What is R? R is 50 ohm. And then C is 5 millifarad or 5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. Because we need the time constant to be in second. So I will have 240 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. Here the unit is second or we can rewrite that as 250 millisecond. And this is our time constant. Okay, that's good. And then number C. Calculate the initial energy of the capacitor. So I need to find out E0 which is one half C V0 squared. Okay, so we will have 112, oh, 112, 1 and 1 over 2 multiplied by 5 millifarad. So I will have 5 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. And then V0, what is V0? V0 is equal to 10 e to the minus 4 multiplied by 0 e to the 0 is 1, so I will have 10 multiplied by 1, so that will be 10 volt. So V0 is 10 volt, so I will have 10 squared. Okay, that's good. And we can calculate this, 100 multiplied by 5, that will be one, 500. 500 divided by 2, that will be 250 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3, and the unit will be Joule or E0 is equal to 250 millijoule. Okay, this is the initial value of the initial energy of the capacitor. So now let's move on to the question D. Obtain the time it takes to dissipate 50% of the initial energy. Okay, maybe we can erase this. Yeah, because we don't need it anymore. So, 50% of the initial energy is 125 millijoule, right? So, I will have 125 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3. Remember that E is equal to 1 half C V squared. Okay, so this is the energy. 50% of this is this one. And so we will have one half multiplied by the capacitor. So I'll have five multiplied to the 10 to the minus three. And then V, we have now known this. So I'll have V squared here. Okay, this 10 to the minus three will cancel each other. And by doing simple arithmetic, we know that V squared is equal to 50. But then what is V? V is... The square root of 50. Okay, that will be 7. Point, okay, 7.071. Okay, this is the V T. And we are asked to find out the T. Okay, maybe let's clean this first. Okay. Okay, now Vt is equal to 7.071, but then Vt on the left hand side is this value here. So I will have 10 e to the minus 40. On the right hand side, I will have 7.071. Okay, and now we can move around. So I will have e to the minus 40 is equal to this divided by 10. So I will just move the point there like this. And then we can take the natural log of this one, which is minus 40. And then on the right hand side, I will have natural log of 0 0.7071. 
and then so i will have t is equal to ln 0 0.7071 and then divided by minus 4. okay i think this is exactly the job of the calculator so i will have learn 0 0.7071 and then divided by minus 4. Okay, that will be 0 0.0, 0 0.0866. And the unit here will be second. Or we can multiply this. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, so I will have T is equal to 86.6 millisecond is that so did i make any mistakes i don't think so so i will have t is equal to this value here and i think that's all for this problem thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye